بذكر الله ترتاح القلوب وتنزاح المتاعب والكروب وتنزل رحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We thank Him and praise Him for every single ni'ma Every single blessing in our life The best ni'ma the best of all, ni'matul iman, the bounty, the blessing of faith, to believe in oneness, to be provided, to have, to gift, Islam, Tawheed, as humanity, through history of humanity, they get astray, a lot of them get astray because they use their mind to know Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they get childish image about God, Allah. They make statues, they make Allah in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, in human, has sun, all that stuff. Childish image about Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they use your mind and generation pass that from one to another till they have 5,000 religion right now but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed humanity by another way to know Almighty with al wahi revelation Quran and not before Quran so we praise and thank Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he blessed us by Islam, Tawheed, oneness, monotheism, only one God, unique God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we seek his help, support, guidance, forgiveness, and we take refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our bad deeds, the consequence of our bad deeds. Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one can misguide. But whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves to go astray, no one can guide. I testify that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone worthy of worship. I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his servant, <coughs> slave, final prophet and messenger to mankind, all mankind, to guide them to him, to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the only way. The only salvation, the way through Muhammad and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa Allah of peace, mercy, blessing upon him, his family, his companions, and those who will follow him in his steps, Quran and Sunnah, till the end of the life, I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. To proceed, the best speech is the speech and the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the best guidance the guidance of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the worst of all things are innovations bid'ah bid'ah to fabricate and the uh, rules of deen illayi tabaraka wa ta'ala the religion and uh, that every such innovation bid'ah is misguidance Every misguidance goes to hell fire. The believers, I advise myself, advise you to practice taqwa. Taqwa in speech, in words, in actions, in every situation, in everything in our life, in every single second in our life, practice taqwa. Piety, righteousness, as this is the only way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us in this life and next life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuha al-lazheena amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqati wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon. Oh, believe, fear Allah as he should be feared. And do not die except as Muslims. Muslims means full submission to Almighty willing teaching subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying subhanahu wa ta'ala 
يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا انسين سبحانه وتعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما The believers Imam Muslim narrated through Abu Hurairah radiyallahu anhu that Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam said in a group of people Muslims that assemble in one of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like us, like now to recite the book of Allah study the book of Allah receive preaching receive knowledge receive maw'idha receive teaching of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam learning and teaching the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except what gonna happen? <clears throat> Listen carefully and reflect with me. Tranquility will descend upon them. You see now. Tranquility, sakina. Sakina. Descend upon them. Like now. Mercy will cover them. Mercy will cover them. Angels will surround them angels will surround them and Allah will make mention of them to those the angels in his side subhanahu wa ta'ala proximity in heavens skies the angels Allah four prizes four prizes for coming to the masjid Listen to khutbah, listen to sermon, listen to listen, listen to maw'idha, pray, mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reflect all that barakah come when we attach, relate with the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At that place, Allah chooses it, select it among all the land to be a place mentioned under the ceiling of that building the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's for every masjid for every masjid every masjid Allah owner that land that place and this barakah extend expand for this whoever Come and visit Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at this barakah, four prizes. Four prizes for whoever come. As sakina. Outside noise. Outside people go and beg. Outside people distracted by dunya. Even in your house, you maybe don't have this sakina. The true sakina and the pure sakina when you come to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Start to pray, start to mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as sakina. And al-rahmah, as sakina, al-rahmah, mercy that everybody look for. The mercy of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As you start your prayer by Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You start your recitation with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You start the dhikr Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You so introduce for every amal in the masjid by Rahmah. The two names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So you seek the mercy of Almighty by this way and Allah promised to have this mercy. And angels, angels around us. There is special angels for everybody that guard 
everybody, everybody, Muslim and non-Muslim, has angels. And everybody also has two angels to write good deeds and bad deeds. Good deeds and bad deeds. But there are another type of angels concerning dhikr. When we initiate and start to make dhikr, halaqa, circle for dhikr, in the masjid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the masjid, or even at your home, or any place, these angels come to cover this who, who mentioned the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only that, and transfer these news to heavens, saying to the other angels, and so and so by names, so and so and so and so, they come together and they mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the person customize and get this habit every day, every day, every day, every day, do that, became habit, became known in heavens. And the benefit him when he leave the land, when death come, when everybody will die. Everybody, everybody, there is a second, a minute, we're gonna leave the life. So these angels wait for this nafs, this ruh, spirit, soul, and make introduction and receiving for that nafs in heavens. Allahu Akbar. Why? Because this nafs used to mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and became known in heavens. So, the angels will surround them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, another barakah, another blessing for those who mention and come together in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like you now. Allah mentioned them by names in heavens. So the angels mention them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention them and pray special blessing upon them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and angels send a special blessing upon believers, Muslims, to get them away from astraying, from dhulumat, darkness of dunya, to the light of deen, the light of akhira, the light of the blessing of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So blessings of visiting Baytullah tabaraka wa ta'ala. The praying, attending in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a great. Do not prevent yourself from that. Do not lose that. Schedule yourself every day. I will come one, one salah. See Isha, Maghrib. And now, alhamdulillah, this pandemic, it is, has special, exceptional time. But the authorities allow for 50. In our case, in our masjid, 50. 50 means we can fold the masjid, this hole and this hole, and every salah. So, plan to come. Don't fear. Don't fear from, you know, this uh, pandemic or this virus or coronavirus. Don't fear. Don't fear from that. What gonna happen, gonna happen. Just take your precautions, take masks and everything like us and come to visit Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not shaitan, make shaitan get you lazy. Ah oh, man, sit down, this is now, it's pandemic. It's excuse for you, great excuse for you. No, no, the masjid. Listen, day after day, week after week, Month after month, it became the regular way, the regular life. And distract and cut us from the masjid. While the masjid is part of our life. Muslim never, ever, never cut himself or herself from the masjid. House of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Masjid for us. Listen to that example, simple example. Masjid for us is like water for fish. Fish cannot get 
life out of the sea, out of the water. Muslim like that, yes, true believer, true Muslim, cannot get sound life, spiritual life, away from the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not lose the masjid. Do not lose this barakah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planned for us. Come at least one time. Maghrib, Isha, Fajr, whatever. Look at your schedule and check one and come to visit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Plus Jumu'ah. Don't leave Jumu'ah. Don't has a special also extra barakah in our life. قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا Say, O oh Muhammad, we will not be hurt by anything except what Allah wrote upon us. So what gonna happen, gonna happen. Just we take the rules, vacations, everything to protect ourselves and uh, it may happen or not happen. By qadr illayta barakwa, destiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, masjid, al-masjid, al-masjid, make part of your life. Don't sh make shaitan get us lazy. Don't come to the masjid. It's now it is pandemic and you have excuse. It's not, not that excuse. Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Fatir. هو تولى الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الصادق الوعد الأمين اللهم صلي وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Some people this one of the you know famous disease in the Western Muslim communities, especially, that visit the masjid just on Friday. That's wrong. If there, there is no excuse, it is big wrong, big mistake. Others visit the masjid once a month. Other with the masjid in Ramadan, just in Ramadan. Or occasions like Eid, like something like that. Some people randomly, if there is, you know, uh, celebration for uh, marriage or something like that, they come to the masjid. Some others, and this is very, very, very critical. You just visit the masjid when they come to Janaza, dead, die died and come to the masjid body dead body just only his ma'rifa his knowledge his relation with the masjid when prey upon him or her subhanallah and then go to the grave and he stay alone without business Without wife, without children, without friends, without neighbors, without anybody, except only one thing with him or her. His or her deeds, good or bad. Good or bad. And the angels. The angels they used to receive him in the masjid. The angels around him, Hasanat and Sayyat. The angels in heavens, that he, they know him or her, come to the masjid continuously. So masjid, jama'at al-khayr, dear brothers and sisters, al-masjid, al-masjid, schedule one waqt, one time, one salah, and come, maghrib, isha, fajr, we need the masjid. Wallahi, we need the masjid. Wallahi, we need the masjid to 
get this nafs down and the dunya in our heart down and be close to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need the masjid we need to come to the masjid so come to the masjid and schedule yourself every day every other day one waqt one time one salah to pray with us as you and everybody in this life need to attach with Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't come to visit Almighty only on Friday or in Ramadan. No. Come every day or every other day. Try. And make this niyyah from now. And Allah watch our hearts. Establish the niyyah now. You're going to have support. You're going to have help from Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assistance from Him. Jalla wa ala. لَأَنَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Because سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Look at the hearts and give you what inside your heart. Goodness, you receive goodness. Evil, receive evil. So, let's plan from now for that. Al-Masjid, part of our daily life. Part of our daily life. Like we eat every day. We drink every day and we have knowledge, we, we seek all that stuff. It's, it's needs of the humanity, necessities. Also, our spirit needs food. The food of spirit here. The food of our spirit here in the masjid. When you pray, when you recite the Quran, when you mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you receive this spiritual fuel. Spiritual fuel that our spirit needed. Because we are, we are not only body, eat and drink. and We are body, mud, and spirit. And between them, the soul and nafs. Body, ruh, spirit, and nafs, the ego, consciousness or soul all these the formations of mankind need food so we focus some of us focus on the food of the body only and forget and neglect the food of the spirit and when we make that we make balance between the spirit and the body to get the secret of the happiness of this life. The balance between spirit, the needs of the spirit, and the needs of the body. The believers also, we should know that Al-Masjid and Al-Imam. Imam speak general, not about myself. General, Imam. We should have Imam as our own teacher, guide. Because all of us on the way to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is like journey. It's like journey. Trip. The destination at the end of that road, way, is Allah and His Jannah. So if you go without guides in this life, without somebody help you to go in this road, to receive uh, the security and the safety and the truth from shayateen, from dunya, from nafs, from, 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 till you reach your destination. So the person in a critical situation, dangerous situation, like somebody blind and go in the highway, running the highway. Beside him, these cars right and left. So you expect some some hurt is going to happen, surely. But if you have guide, somebody guide you, take your hand, so avoid you, the shayateen. Huh? Avoid us, the shayateen, the evil of the life, as possible as. So should take imam as a guidance, as a teacher, as a guide, Somebody help, help for us in this way to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reach 
in secure in safety al-masjid and al-imam we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of that reminder to open our hearts all of us and all muslims around the world to mahabba loving of the masjid ameen ya rabbal alameen we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the best way to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the pandemic from the world ameen ya arhamar rahimin we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal and cure every single person on earth ameen ya rabbal alameen allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit ala al haqq aqdamana wa ansurna ala man adana ya rabbal alameen allahumma khudh bi nawasina ilayk akhdha al kiram alayk allahumma tub alayna tawbatan turdik wa tarda biha anna ya akram al akramin ya rabbal alameen allahumma inna qad waqafna bi babik wa anta ajwad al ajwadin wa anta akram al akramin يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين إلهنا وسيدنا وخالقنا ومولانا لا تردنا من هذا المقام إلا وقد غفرت ذنوبنا وسترت عيوبنا وجبرت كسرنا وأدخلتنا بفضلك المحض في عبادك الصالحين يا رب العالمين طهر قلوبنا زك نفوسنا اللهم طهر قلوبنا من الدنيا يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلها في أيدينا ولا تجعلها في قلوبنا يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين اللهم طهر قلوبنا من النفاق والرياء وسوء الأخلاق يا رب العالمين خذ بنواصينا إليك أخذ الكرام عليك وقفنا ببابك يا أجود الأجهدين يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين لا تردنا خائبين صفر اليدين يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين اللهم اهدنا وكفنا واغننا واسترنا بسرك الجميل يا رب العالمين اللهم اهدي أبناءنا وبناتنا اللهم اهدهم جميعا يا رب العالمين اللهم حبب إليهم الإيمان وزينه في قلوبهم وكره إليهم الكفر والفسوق والعصيان واجعله من الراشدين المفلحين الناجحين في الدنيا والآخرة يا رب العالمين اللهم رب لنا أبناءنا يا رب العالمين اللهم رب لنا أبناءنا واحفظهم بحفظك يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظهم بما حفظت به الذكر الحكيم يا رب العالمين اللهم كل المسلمين المستضعفين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين في كشمير وأركان وفلسطين وسوريا واليمن وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم لم لمشعث هذه الأمة اللهم لم لمشعث هذه الأمة اللهم لم لمشعث هذه الأمة وهي لها أمر رشد يعز فيه أهل الطاعة ويودى فيه هذه المعصية يا رب العالمين اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا وجميع مرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وجميع موتى المسلمين وارحمنا إذا ما صرنا إلى الموت يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة